Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Curious Shots. Now, let me tell you what Curious Shots is. On a day-to-day basis, I meet a lot of people. And most of these people are much, much smarter than me in some of the other fields, right? And as it said, you always learn by asking questions. You always learn by staying curious. And that's how, you know, you just get a brief overview about different fields. And in a way, you just feel better. In a similar manner, I have a couple of friends who are really good at finance, who are really good at content writing, who are really good at, say, open source. And I want to talk to them, learn for myself, and at the same time, bring really, really good content for you guys as well, so that you can explore a lot of fields, you can learn new things every single day. So today we'll be talking a bit about GSOC, uh, what exactly is Google Summer of Code, and why is it so hyped, right? Um, you know, people talk a lot about Google Summer of Code. I've even seen people say, hey, if you crack Google Summer of Code, you'll, uh, you know, get into any company. And maybe it's true, maybe it's not. So let's get it clarified from a Google mentor, from a Google Summer of Code mentor. And a lot of people think, like something that I learned from this particular conversation was that, you know, a lot of people think Google Summer of Code is directly affiliated with Google. So people might think it's an internship of sorts, but no, Google Summer of Code is like a marketplace of different companies having open source products and they're looking for developers. So Google Summer of Code is just a marketplace. It connects developers with companies that have open source products, right? So for example, if I'm building something, if I'm building a piece of software, and if I wanna make the code open source so that anyone can contribute and add new features, then I'll uh, you know just put it out on GitHub and make it an open source project. Now, if it's a really good project and if I'm looking for more developers, then I as a company would approach Google Summer of Code, which is like a marketplace and be like, hey, can you list my software in your marketplace so that, you know, people can apply for it and contribute to the project. In return, I'll give you some money. So, I mean, to the students as stipend. So that's how the entire process works. It's not that you're working for Google when you're, uh, you know, cracking Google Summer of Code. For more information, do watch this conversation of me with Kunal and hope you gain something out of it. Let's start from the basics. What is open source in simple terms? Take exa- take, exa- take an example for, let's say, Android. So Android is an open source operating system from Google, but many other companies use it. OnePlus, Oppo, you know, Samsung, and all these companies use it. So when Google releases an update, the update goes to everyone because everyone has the codes. The core thing is same. On top of really? that, they have modified Android, uh, added their own skins and stuff. So that is completely fine. Linux, for example. So Linux is an open source kernel and you can like modify it uh, any distro let's say ubuntu or something so you can modify that according to your needs all of these is open source rather than let's say windows which is proprietary software and there's a lot less customization available over there so let's take the students perspective now uh, why do you think so many people want to apply for open source programs maybe something like gsoc right the moment you hear about it mm-hmm. uh, you know students start questioning what's the procedure uh, how do i prepare for it why do you think there is the hype around open source among a lot of yeah. college students. The hype started developing for Google Summer of Code because they 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 used to give referrals mm-hmm. to to students who were like GSOC students. Okay. So if someone got selected in GSOC, they got a referral for Google. So they could apply mm-hmm. to Google for like either an internship or something via using that referral. Mm-hmm. They don't do that now. So in Google Summer of Code, they don't really give a referral now. They just give mm-hmm. you a certificate stipend and uh, you get to work with the organization that you apply to something specifically like about google summer of code to answer your question it's i believe mainly people are really attracted with the google tag yeah and true they don't really realize that it has nothing to do with google so if you're yeah. a google student you're not working for google you're not an intern at google you don't have any direct relation with google and google is not going to look at your code Google is not going to pass you or fail you. Google is not going to be aware of like, you know, the Google engineers are not looking into what you're doing. Then okay. actually the question arises, who is doing all that? Who is mm-hmm. reviewing our code? Whom are we contributing to? And all these things. So it's actually the organization. So there are a few organizations, let's say 200 organizations that apply to GSOC. Once mm-hmm. they are it, the students apply directly to these organizations. All the mm-hmm. communication happen with you and the organization but not between you and Google. So you are Got a student of the organization. And in mm-hmm. the, this is a really good point. On LinkedIn, people write Google Summer of Code intern at Google. So <laughs> people, 
Google actually had to send us a mail. So Google sent us a mail that guys, please don't do this. Uh, yeah. Don't do this. You are not an internet Google. You are working as a student for yeah. that organization. So mm. people are writing like that. Similar, same thing happened for like many other programs, like Microsoft Student Partner program. So people mm. are like Microsoft Student Partner at Microsoft under work experience. <laughs> I saw a YouTube video. People were like, there was this person I don't remember the name. He started the video with, "Ah, uh, today we are going to talk about Google Summer Code. This is a certificate. That if you are on your resume, you will not be able to take any other company. So it doesn't happen. Uh, not, uh, not every company is going to hire you just because you are a GSOC student. Uh, you need to yeah. work even harder and work on your. Please, please don't skip your computer programming thing. So that is really, mm-hmm. really important in your interviews and everywhere they ask. They ask computer okay. programming. Google Summer Code is a great thing. Okay, first of all, I'm not saying that you should not apply. Definitely apply. Apply like if you don't get selected, apply again next year. It's completely like a great program. The thing I want to point out over here is that if you're not a GSOC student. you're not missing out on much because you can still contribute to open source and get those benefits the only thing you won't be getting is a stipend and a certificate that's it all right so hope you learned something from the video and if you did then do subscribe and also let me know what do you want to watch next uh, if there is an interesting guest that you want me to interview or if there is an interesting topic that you want me to talk about also at clenify uh, which is the online community that we run we have an open source project it's made by abhijit singh and it's called the sleep bot which is a, a discord bot for our clenify server and if you want to contribute if you want to add features then the link is given the link to the github repository is given in the description down below so for people who do not know what i'm talking about essentially we have made a discord bot which gives points to people who participate in the discord server and if you want to add any features to the bot then feel free to do so and people who are still learning to code You can go out there, learn from Free Code Camp, learn from YouTube, learn from Udemy, or um, just just learn from the internet, and eventually you'll get to a position where you can start contributing to open source. Um, see you guys. Take care. Bye.